Hi everyone! Today I have another unboxing video and in my last video I've shown a sneak peek of what I'm going to unbox next and this is the box. Yes, yeah, so this is another purchase that I got from myteresa.com. If you've seen my most recent video, I also unboxed the YSL uh, monogram clutch and this one is another YSL and it's the Lulu in the medium size and in the dark beige color and I'm very excited to open this one I haven't really opened it because I didn't want to mess up the, the packaging I wanted to really show how it looks like the original packaging uh, how the original packaging is done so yeah hope you hope you continue watching Hi everyone, I am Dottie Bernas and welcome to my channel. I do bag reviews, I do unboxing videos and haul videos and please consider subscribing to my channel and click that notification bell so you would know when I have new videos. Okay, so as I've said, I have not yet opened this. This is the box from mytheresa.com when you order online from mytheresa, you either choose, there's two packaging that you need to choose. That's my Teresa packaging and I don't know uh, they there's another name for it but uh, I always choose this uh, packaging because I thought that they they look the packaging is really uh, nice and beautiful so yeah this is a San Luran uh, Lulu bag and I have a very long 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 <laughs> story for this purchase and I'd like to also share why I got this uh, Lulu Lulu bag. I've uh, been following another Instagram and a YouTube account, Chase Amy, and I, her collection of purses or her bags are really uh, like our my our dream bags or goal for me. And I really admire and I thought that all her collections are really uh, something that I would also want to have but definitely not be able to get those so at least getting this one is like one dream come true for me because she has this bag and yeah finally uh, getting this one is like an achievement for me achieve, such a big achievement for me already because getting something like this is it's really not me I am not really that type of person who would really spend this amount of money for a certain bag but maybe yeah it, it took a lot of courage and you know um, determination just to be able to decide to buy this one maybe able to share also why I would buy a bag with this price and I'm going to share a little bit later how much is the total price for this one okay so this is the packaging for this Lulu bag and the same way it was when I got the monogram clutch it was also packed this way this is by the way um the Lulu in the medium size okay so this is the box All right let's open um it was delivered here by uh, I think my Teresa.com has a partnership with DHL and like the previous one DH it was the the courier was also DHL so yeah this is how it looks like and this is I think the receipt and then here's the price price is one thousand four hundred seventy euro okay now the price of this. 1470 is already discounted the price for these uh, the actual retail price not the discounted one is uh, 2400 euro so it's like um, I think I got a discount of almost a thousand euro from buying it in my theresa.com because at the time when I was buying they were having this um, again it's like a flash sale okay so I'm gonna share um, in another video uh, a long story for why I bought this one okay so it also comes with this um, card 
here. It's a thank you card. And yeah. So it has these stockings here. And let me get this. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's heavy. So here is the packaging. Comes with this. And let's open. Oh my gosh. And it's just how beautiful and pretty. <laughs> I think I want to cry. <laughs> it's just how I imagined it to be. Oh my, it's so pretty. Just a while ago, I was opening a fur bag and I was not very happy, but this one. <laughs> Let me just. Uh, look at this it's it's perfect it's just the perfect size and it's really beautiful and um this color is the dark beige color this is the dark beige color uh, when i was buying um there were there weren't many colors available and I wanted the black one black colors are easy to wear so but there was no black one but I think this dark beige is also as perfect as the dark as the black one especially with the uh, gold uh, hardware and these very you know iconic YSL or San Laurent logo and i don't even want to open it <laughs> okay so there is a tag let me show you the tag so sandoran that's the tag but i think this is a this is from a for my teresa tag and let's open i don't want to open it okay so this is how it looks like when you open. So it has this uh, whole stuffing. I know I am not able to control my smile <laughs> and I'm not able to hide my happiness. <laughs> okay, while, while opening, let me share to you um, why I got this uh, YSL Lulu like I've said I've been following following Chase Amy and her bags are really like to die for <laughs> her collection is like a dream and this is like a, a dream it's a goal it's a goal for somebody who is really into bags but Chase Amy's collections are really luxury brands and something that's really i think will only be a dream of mine so this one is like i as i've said a dream come true for me <laughs> so yeah i have these now this medium size when i was again it took me really a long time like days before i decided what size to buy uh it's it was a difficult decision for me whether to choose this medium size or to get the or to get the the small the small size the the lulu line has this um small and then there's the toy the smallest one i think is the toy and then the small size this medium size and then there's also the large size and um what i actually did was choosing between the small and the medium because i thought that the small is like a day bag or it can be a day bag and an evening bag and i thought that the, the small one would be just just the right size but 
uh, after looking at many bag reviews comparing the small ones from the medium size and because you know this is not a very cheap purchase I really it, it I really took the time to make this uh, research or view many other bag reviews uh, make uh, making a comparison between the medium size and the small size and so finally there was this one video that made me decide um, to get this the medium size instead which I think is just really the perfect size for me I wouldn't have the uh, I mean there's no regret this is really uh, the size that I am uh, uh, looking for in terms of uh, this uh, bag, in terms of how I'm going to use it, since, uh, since I'm going to use it as an office wear, as an office bag, so yeah, perfect size for me. So, okay, so of course, as you can see, and you may already, already, you may already know how the inside of this bag looks like, but let me uh, still show it. So, there's this. Um, lining also in the videos that i saw I, these medium size can already pack in terms of capacity this can already pack a lot of things so yeah i think this will be a perfect every day i'm not sure though if i'm going to use this every day but yes this is uh this can be perfect for the things that i i bring every day in terms of the size also so there's this middle size compartment with the zipper and I think it's very small. Yeah, okay. So again, I am loving how this bag looks like. Let me see if there is a type there. So here is the, I don't know what you call this. I think this is what they call the authentication card. I noticed that when you buy these luxury luxury bags they also they come with the authentication card like the 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 monogram that I got forgive me if I am not very much uh, aware of what these are for but the monogram clutch also has this one but there's no tag inside actually no tag YSL tag inside so I'm just gonna keep these uh, okay. authentication card here if that's how they call it um, okay let me share also how much did I pay for this I've learned so much from buying this one um, from buying from an online shop that is based in that is based in um, uh, overseas I have been buying bags online some were from Instagram uh, well if you're following if you've been watching my if you're a viewer of my channel some of my bags are from Instagram accounts reseller accounts while some I think most are I bought from like like my Michael Kors bags I I have plenty who I bought which I bought from the Michael Kors global website which are delivered from Europe to the Philippines but the prices when you buy from that site and I buy from that site normally uh, I got hooked in buying it from that site because they normally uh, initially uh, I just have to say that initially when I was buying from that site they were doing it with free shipping so free shipping and then the price that you see is actually already the total price uh, import duties and taxes are, are already included in the price and so there's no hassle really it's really like when you buy and then you just wait for a few days uh, not, not even weeks and then you you get it delivered already but with uh, mytheresa.com with mytheresa.com um, 
the price doesn't include yet the duties and the import duties and taxes so you really only pay for the price of the bag and so like for this one i paid 1470 euro online and um when you check out they will ask you if the website will ask you if you are going or if you are uh, willing to pay for the because your country may want may charge you with import duties and taxes if you say yes then you can proceed with the purchase but if you say no of course not so they will not deliver the bag so i so i i said yes so i'm willing to pay for the import duties and taxes so the same with the monogram clutch the san Laurent monogram clutch that i purchased from the same site I was charged with an additional fee, additional uh, amount for this one for the import uh, duties and taxes. The, uh, the additional price that I paid for this one was for the import duties and taxes, which to me was uh, really uh, big. I was surprised already with the tax for the for the monogram uh, clutch, but for this one, it's like I'm buying a, a, another bag. So the price, the additional price for the import duties and taxes was actually 28,000 pesos. And so the total amount that I paid for this bag, actually, this bag cost me around almost 120,000 pesos because the peso equivalent of the 1,470 is 90,000 so plus 28,000 plus, so 9,100, then 100, almost almost 120,000 for this one so yeah that's the total amount the total price for this bag and i think it's really really worth the price i mean look at how perfect and how pretty this bag is i might, I might just put this somewhere <laughs> where i can take care of it and okay I was able to check out this bag in the physical store. I went actually to Rustans in Makati to in Glorieta because I wanted to see how the actual size how the medium size actually looks like. And so I checked out the physical store in in Glorieta and there it was I saw I saw how the medium size is. I also saw the retail price in the actual store and the retail price this is actually retailing at 202,000 pesos can you believe that 202,000 pesos oh my god so I think that because I got these at 120,000 less than a little less than 120,000 it's actually like huge discount very big discount for me already so yeah very very happy very happy and satisfied and i'm actually speechless <laughs> i can't contain my my happiness oh my gosh it took uh, some time before this was delivered so i bought these in december 1 online and this actually arrived today here um today is december 26 so 26 days before it got delivered uh after the online purchase uh, the mytheresa.com was actually very fast and very i think they were very efficient so a few days after uh, just two days after there was already this notice that um, the bag is on the way and then a few days after i got these notice from DHL so this is so this is the one thing that I've learned from these purchases as I've said earlier uh, it's my first time to buy a bag online that where the duties uh, import duties and taxes is not yet included in the price so what happened was that DHL emailed me and asks me for some documents and this uh, 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 affidavit an undertaking something like that it's a notarized affidavit of undertaking and then an ID there were three documents and then also 
a document to say that you are okay to pay these uh, these uh, import duties and taxes so I of course I immediately tried to comply with all those requirements but it, I mean uh, of course I was asking um, because I didn't really know and what I learned was that uh, why why I would had to you know submit those documents because from with the with the monogram clutch they just sent me the link to pay for the import duties and taxes and I paid and then it's delivered already immediately so uh, with that one the explanation was that if the amount of your purchase is more than 50,000 pesos then all these documentary requirements you have to submit it before they actually send you the the payment the link to be able to, to pay the link to pay for the actual import duties and taxes so that process took us more than I think two weeks and it was just before Christmas or December 24 I think I got the email saying or sending me the link to pay for the import duties and taxes and uh, together with the import duties and taxes amount which is uh, 28,000 pesos or more i paid the dish the taxes on christmas day and then it arrived today december 26 so yeah so after paying the taxes it's very fast huh? but the process of going back and forth with the dhl and the customs took us more than like two weeks and i had doubts already what's wrong what's the matter i've sent already the documents why can't I have yet the you know it's been several days already in fact in fact I was following up with DHL I followed up with DHL for like three times because after I sent the last document they said that the, this is for continuous processing and and then after that no more so I got scared because I know there are stories about you know, you know uh, terrible experience with customs uh, uh, offices so yeah I thought that maybe I would have the same problem also have the same uh, uh, terrible story also but luckily finally uh, I didn't uh, experience though okay so yeah this is my unboxing of the very beautiful YSL Lulu bag in the medium size and this is in the color dark, dark beige all right uh thank you for watching hope you like this video and please do subscribe don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you would know when i have new video and uh, see you in my next video and have a great day everyone stay safe